first week of Wimbledon is drawing to a close. Another full week of action kicking off tomorrow. World number one Serena Williams facing off against her sister Venus in their first Grand Slam matchup in six years. The last time they battled each other was also major, and it was at Wimbledon when Serena captured the championship in straight sets back in 2009. The sisters hold five Wimbledon singles titles apiece. And with wins at both the Australian and the French so far this year, Serena is making a run at a calendar Grand Slam. She had a thrilling come from behind three set victory over Brit Heather Watson on Friday. And here to discuss the road to Wimbledon glory, four time Wimbledon doubles champion and international tennis hall of famer Gigi Fernandez and WNBC sports reporter Harry Chickma, who played in several tour events himself. Great to have you both here. This is just fantastic. Gigi, let's start with you. First, you mentioned there's actually a day off, and then tomorrow, boom, Venus and Serena. Yeah, this at is it. the only Grand Slam that has a day off, um, which is really unusual because you're in the, you know, in the meat of the, of the battle, and then you have to sit around for a day. Um, and Venus and Serena tomorrow should be an amazing match. They haven't played each other in a while, and um, you know, we'll see what happens. But I don't know. My money's on Venus for this uh, one. Uh, what is it specifically you think you're going to be looking for in this match? Um, you know, Venus has to take a lead early. If you let Serena start and you know get ahead. She's, she's pretty tough to beat, so I think she has not lost a match after winning the first set all year um, or in a long time, so um, she really has got to start strong. Well, Harry, it's been six years since these two tap rank sisters have faced off in a major, and we used to see it a lot more often. Do you know why? Why is this? What, what's been changing? Well, I think to begin with, I think um, in any other tournament, Venus wouldn't have a chance against Serena right now, but because it's Wimbledon, because Venus has won Wimbledon, she has a great game for the grass. She does have a chance. The reason we haven't seen this matchup recently is, is Venus has been struggling with injuries. Uh, she's not playing the best tennis of her life, uh, and Serena, meanwhile, has continued to be strong, continued to be a dominant force. And there is a little bit of an age difference, not much. Of course, Venus, the older sister. So it's really just the, the play of Venus hasn't been her top level, and that's why she hasn't had the opportunity to play Serena on such a big stage. And if Serena wins, she will be the first person to win a calendar Grand Slam in all four majors in one year. And nobody's done that since Steffi Graf did that in 1988. Gigi, do you think Serena can really pull this off? Well, she's got a long way to go. I mean, we're only at Wimbledon, so she would have to win this one, and then she still has to win the U.S. Open. So she's not even, you know, she's not even halfway. I mean, she's halfway there, but she's got a long ways to go. So I, I don't think she's thinking about it yet, um, and she's been very adamant about not answering questions about it. So uh, it's really not her focus right now. I think she's just focusing on trying to beat her sister, which emotionally is going to be really difficult for her. Um, and, you know, hopefully she, she wins Wimbledon and we'll have a really exciting U.S. Open. But nothing new for these sisters. I mean, they do this all the time. So It's been a while, huh? And, and, and it's in the round 16, which is unusual. They've only usually played each other, each other in the finals uh, at Wimbledon. So a lot at stake. It's going to be a great match regardless. And, Harry, I want to toss this to you. 20-year-old Madison Keys and 23-year-old Coco Vandeweghe, the two other Americans who advanced in the fourth round, how are their chances? I've known both of these girls since they first started in the juniors, and I'm very impressed. I think Madison Keys, I was speaking with uh, Gigi before the broadcast, I think she can maybe make the semis or the finals. She has a really good draw. She's in the bottom half, which is a little weaker, doesn't have as many heavy hitters. Meanwhile, Coco's had a great run. It's really good for her career. She has a tough match against Safarova. I don't think she's going to win that one, but she can pat herself on the back. She made it this far into a uh, major tournament, but look out for Madison Keys, maybe into the finals. That would be huge. Two great players to keep an eye on. Gigi, who else would you say we should be keeping an eye on for the American players? Um, other than, well, other than Madison Keys and Coco Vandeweghe, mm -hmm. you know, Venus and Serena, we have four players in the round of 16 for the first time Sloan. at a Grand Slam in a long time. Sloane Stevens, uh, Christina McHale had a good showing, um, just qu couldn't quite finish her match out this year. But, um, you know, American tennis on the women's side is doing really, really well right now um, compared to like, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. So the efforts of the USTA in promoting um, junior tennis have really, have really um, helped the state of women's tennis. The men are a little bit behind, but we had two, ju uh, two juniors play in the French Open finals. The number one seed in the junior Wimbledon is an American guy. So I think hopefully in the, in the near future here, we're going to have some top American, American guys. Great. Well, we look forward to that. We like, like, forward, like to have the Americans in the finals. It's on the way. And for Venus and Serena, we know it's going to be a great matchup. Gigi Fernandez, thank you so much. Thank Harry you. Chikma, appreciate you guys being here. Great Thanks to so be much. here. Thanks. Great. And we'll all be watching. Thank you.